about no, tips. No, no. <laughs> and I'll be in a better mood. You are, so I'm just not contributing to this conversation, and neither you know is the what? judge who's coming You know coming why up. we're excited? Because Judge Andrew Napolitano oh is God. here to talk about the concept of private property oh and personal liberty and what they're doing in North Dakota to potentially do away with the property tax. No pro property taxes. That's the proposal, anyway. Well, it's a proposal at a referendum and an election this November, which under the Constitution in North Dakota can happen over the objection of the political class, because the political class in both parties is not very happy about this. The only thing that they hate more than losing power is losing cash with which to execute that power. Tell me how this makes sense then, because I know you're a, you're a fan of it, but as you say, the political class uh, on both sides, so the Chamber of Commerce is against it, right. the unions are against it, so you have right and left saying, no, 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 we're going to lose out on $800 million plus in revenue every year. How do we replace that? And you say? You shrink the government, you deliver fewer services, you uh, lay off or using attrition uh, government employees. Look, the government today, we, we rely on it for so many things that the Constitution doesn't authorize, the federal government, even, even relying on state governments to do things which just a generation or two ago we used to do for ourselves, our family and community would do for us. The good people of North Dakota, again over the objection of the political class, want to return to more freedom, less government, less reliance on they, government. They also feel very flush because of all the money pouring in from oil well, revenue. No. That's an and when, for this. I mean, but again, it's a very up and down market. And I guarantee you, if oil prices collapse, the state starts hurting, and then they are really left in a bond. Uh, every person in the state. How about the the moral view of this? Who owns the house? The person whose name is on the deed or the local government? How can you owe the government something just by virtue of owning the real estate if you're not receiving, because this is a largely rural state, if you're not receiving any, uh, any benefit from the government? That great political philosopher. You're, that, you're rent, that you're essentially renting your own house. Correct. Right. The Tip O'Neill used to it. say, money is the mother's milk of politics. <laughs> you're not Take well, it away from true. politicians and they will squeal and perhaps do that's less. That's definitely true, but you're not going to win that argument broadly that property taxes are somehow, all property taxes are unconstitutional. They're not all going away. I will judge. probably lose the argument, yeah. but I, if you let me, I'll continue to make <laughs> That's right. Maybe not Somehow unconstitutional, but that they defy our freedom. How about this one? Taxation is theft. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I'll continue to melt. Okay, oh boy. That was great. We're going to get so many tweets about that. Love Pleasure, you, Judge. Guys. Love you as well. <laughs> Judge, thank you. Judge Andrew Napolitano.